Okay, in this session we are going to discuss how to create a employee in PIMS. First of all, we just need to log in our eOffice account. After that, click on the other services and select the PIMS Personal Information Management System. Over there, just click on the PIMS. The PIMS window will appear and click on the Create New Employee. Just write down the basic information, the primary organization government of Korea. We have to provide all the simple basic information and we have to select the OE in which we are going to create an employee. The services we can select the and drop down. We select it from the drop down list. We have to select the appropriate drop down list. So, There are two types in which we have to select the respective services. These are the list of services which are available in our e-office account. And based upon the nature of employee, we have to select the appropriate order. Three types of employee we can create. That means the source of information for which we can select the employee. Type actual cases we have to select the no services for the contractual employees from the list. Scatter we have to select the service scatter other when we select the no services, the other services will also. Of joining of government services, we have to select the date in which date we in the user has joined the services. And so, so for the, there are three types of social development direct, inducted, or promoted. In the case, uh, uh, the contact employee will select the inducted service cadre type and the employee code uh, will be we keep same in this option. And thus, for the contact employee. We have to select the basic code over there. Copy paste it. The service card identification to employee code. As a service document data there is. We have to select the employee email ID over there. We have to select the login ID, which we provide the credential on the time of the login. We have to select the employee. Email ID. The type on manual and username we have to provide simply. Let the date of birth of the employee. Date of birth. Official email ID, I yeah, just simply copy paste from the login ID over there. The employee is not mandatory, but we can provide. The employee, their mobile number was mandatory, but in this version, it is not mandatory. Only the employee status. Employee status is just select the from the drop down list and outsource. <coughs> appellation appellation is just append the letter from the starting from username, gender, these are the basic information, and the three alphabet are provided in their short name.
left to the So that we have to select the respective names of dozen as a classification. I can risk keep the diagnosis in life, keep default and the diagnosis apartment date on the city says employee has joined our simply click on the create user it is successfully after that we have to act with his reporting officer just by click on and post admin we have to select the post admin in subject to create the post of employee and this is the post and call them and or, or. 